Hey, good afternoon one and all. Welcome to the video. I want to take out two minutes and talk about data. Data has been growing from kilobytes to megabytes, megabytes to gigabytes and gigabytes to petabytes. Now extracting information out of the data is extremely important and presenting that information in front of the business is very, very important skill. As the data grows, it presents a new challenges. How do we analyze such massive data? What tools do I use? What frameworks are they available? So I want to just talk about two minutes in this video and my upcoming tutorial on my YouTube channel would be on, on, on these topics. So the first thing is, okay, I, I can, you know, of course, whenever it comes to data science, the first language is Python, right? That's what people think about. Well, yeah, the traditional, the old way of doing is, uh, you know, write up simple pandas data frame and then present, do some data analysis. But guys, that's gonna fail. If you have hundreds of CSV, of course you can write in a loop, but it's, that's not gonna work. At a time, if the files are growing in size, you would have memory issues and your uh, pandas data frame would fail and it would say memory issues. Well, what are you gonna do about that? Well, we can do read the files in chunks and do threading in that. Well, okay, not that bad, but is there a better way or is there a better solution to do this? Yes, it is. For example, AWS offers so many tools and services that I have been learning and I wanna teach you guys. So recently what we could do is basically there are a couple of ways to present that information to the business. Let's say the data is in S3 bucket. Now what you wanna do, you wanna run a glue, glue sorry, you wanna run a glue crawler on this data. Once the crawler would crawl over the data, it would populate a meta database. Now once the meta database is populated, now there are four ways to, or basically three ways to do it. High level, first way, well, if you wanna just do some high level queries, you can write queries in Athena and those results are stored back in an S3 bucket and then you can do your pandas data frame stuff. The second approach is basically, you, you basically um, uh, spin up uh, basically SageMaker notebooks from Glue. So you create a dev endpoint and then, and then spin up your SageMaker notebooks and then do, you, do your data analysis on that. That's point two. Third way of doing it is basically you, you take the data from the Glue Put it on uh, uh, put it on Redshift and then perform uh, SQL queries to extract information out of your data. These are the three popular ways uh, to do data analysis. And in, in order to present charts and visual, you can basically use AWS QuickSight to present charts analytics to your business or team, right? So these are the some of the ways in which we can analyze massive data on AWS. Well, I'm extremely excited uh, to teach you about all of these things. I have recently learned about all of these things by taking some course, watching some YouTube videos, something from here, something from my work, and um, you know, just would try to teach you whatever I know. I'm excited to teach you more about AWS Glue, then as I said, Redshift, Athena, and much more. Join me in this video tutorial series this week where I'll be covering all of these topics. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, list your questions in the comments and I would get back to you as soon as possible. By the way, keep smiling, stay safe and never give up. I would see you guys next time.